Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Okay, afternoon everyone. I'm out on the farm today, as you might have gathered by that previous little bit of a video I took when I first arrived. And there was absolutely thousands of them and they've all flown away across this uh, silage area, sheds. They're on the lines, can't get anywhere near them though. Up there, look. Big problems with them here, really bad. Um, I texted the farmer earlier asking him if it was okay to come this afternoon, and he's like, Yes, please do. I'm absolutely inundated with doing my head in. So I've come down, bought the Dreamline now with a tactical kit on it. As I said in the previous video, it probably would have, which gives me the Picatinny rail and the adjustable AR stock. Um, which lets me fit it in the case without taking the silencer off when I uh, retract it and then just put it out to full length whenever I want. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to that. Uh, I got it from Crow Gun Shop in Holland. Also the new Crown Stroke Dreamline side shot magazine in 177. Works the same as the uh, impact one, uh, just obviously slightly smaller capacity. Uh, I do believe it's the same 21 shot as the uh, original, but that's a lot better rifle in um, than the tactical version. Um, it's like I said, it's got the Picatinny scope on. I've got the X sight in the car that I can quickly switch over now. It's Picatinny. Uh, put some Picatinny sports match mounts on the uh, Optizan. So I can um, swap it between the two guns when I like. I'll be using the side shot with the iPhone. Um, gonna sort of like hover around, hide in corners, skulk around the bales, play it by ear really. Um, that seems to be quite a favoured landing spot on top of those sheds there. So I might sort of tuck myself in down here a bit because it's about 35 yards to those. So it's not, not a bad range just a matter of getting down amongst it all and seeing what I can bag. But they are really nervous, I can't get near them, so I'll see what I can do. Okay, just a bit of zero in to do now and then get set up. Okay, see how we get on. Okay, first things first, bit of zero in. I won't show you the other 30 seconds or so of me tweaking it from a mile away because uh, I changed the scope mountings obviously for the Picatinny one so it was way out so I just tweaked it in on the last few clicks now just getting it spot on click or two this is 30 yards I'll zero it at 30 yards and I know my holdovers then with the JSB heavies there's a couple of shots now should see it about right that's it bang on That's it, on to the crows. Our first one's a jackdaw on the roof, 32 yards. A straightforward shot. Watch him fall. There he goes. It's the first one down. And there's all his mates flying off. Loads of them about. The silencer was amazing. Didn't bother him at all. Second one, up there again on the same roof. More jackdaws kicking off everywhere like they do. Don't take them long to come back though. 
Next one, Wood Pigeon. About 45 yards onto the peak of the roof. I picked him up near the car on the other side, the end of the tape. Here's one, the freeze this. Why don't I shoot him? Because he's a stock dove and they're protected. And I don't shoot him because I'm a rubbish shot. Just pluck some feathers. Missed him. Hundreds of starlings getting bullied out of the way by the jackdaw. Off the same roof again. 32 yards. Not a straightforward shot. Must have left about four of them up there. Okay. Power lines behind me. I'm just double checking because I can only silhouette this. So I just want to double check it's not that stock dove again. I'm just looking not through the scope but through my eyes at the minute. Yeah, I'm satisfied. It's actually a feral pigeon it turned out when I went and picked it up out of the uh, field below. It just dropped straight down. It had the bars on its wings, it was a feral. This one landed about 15 yards away. I couldn't even get, I didn't even get time to focus it. I didn't want to try and risk it because I think he'd see me when I, when I swung the gun up. So I was between these bags. Jack Daw bullies his mate out of the way. So he gets one, drops to the bottom of the rock pile. And that's where I picked him up from. Swung back around 90 degrees to the power lines again. Trying to get comfortable. Legs wrapped under myself, kneeling on stones. He drops. Same field as the uh, feral pigeon. Next one on the same power lines again. Now this one, I'm leaning on a bag on my left hand side and actually push the barrel to slightly to the side I notice when I miss so I have to lean off and just prop up on my elbow and this time the pellets on target I actually saw the pellet on the scope go about six inches wide and then I realized why and then wood pigeon miss there's wood pigeons that got away with it today to be honest there yeah. Now I can hear the famous chattering that we all know and love and I'm trying to work out where they are and that's them. Up to no good. A gang of them in the tree. This is uh, 45 yards away. No problem with a bit of holdover. And top the one just scarpers and above. And get a chance to get another one. Back on the roof, jack door again. 32 yards. Must be a few of them up there now. Okay, so that was the last one near the bags of uh, sand that I was hiding around. So I decided to walk up back near the car to where the silage clamps were. There's a jack door. I think he sees me because he starts squawking and flapping. But not for long. Off he goes. And then I look up and there's one on the line. So I'm thinking he's about 40 yards and then miss. And there's another one. Just to my left, I believe. Where is it? Just trying to work out. Yeah, they are. Yep, that's them. On the, the power line thing. Drop him. Nice shot there through the chest. Last but not least, I'm on the same area, just leaning over those silage clamps you saw with the tyres on top. And trying my best not to get licked by a cow that was at the side of me at the time. Take him off the top of the telegraph pole. And down he drops. What's that? Not bad. 14. Get the farmer happy for a bit. Okay. If you enjoyed that, like, subscribe and share. See you next time. Thanks for watching.